What is going on everybody? It is dealing with Astro DFS coming at you with a different type of video. Uh, just because the lack of games for DFS this week, I'm just going to come at you with a betting video. Uh, and it's going to be a quick one, not going to go over a whole lot. So just going to go off of what I have as of right now, uh, Wednesday morning, a uh, very early Wednesday morning of some bets that I have. So the first bet I have is I actually have Kansas City at minus three and a half at minus 118, I believe. Um, I, I took this just because the Chiefs are going to be home this time. Last time they faced Miami was in Germany, uh, kind of neutral game, even though it favored the Chiefs. Uh, the other thing is the Chiefs are, based off of their first practice, are going to be healthy uh, for the majority and Miami does not look healthy uh, based off of their first practice. There's still a full week's worth to go, right? It's um, still got Wednesday, Thursday, um, depending, you know, probably not a Friday practice, but uh, Thursday walkthrough. So we'll see what that looks like going on in the week. But we already know Miami's defense is down a lot, especially in the def defensive line, linebacker room. They're down a lot. Uh, Safety-wise, could be down both their safeties in – um, Javon Holland, uh, Elliot, I think is the other one that is, uh, got hurt during the practice. I think he ended up playing in the game, uh, but still was hurt. Um, Xavier Howard, like another name in that secondary. No, it does look like based off their first practice, they're going to get Waddle and Moster back, which is a huge plus for their offense. But this is also going to be a very cold game. Uh, I, I saw something out yesterday that this might be one of the coldest games in played. Like That's crazy. And I would favor the Chiefs and the way they run. Their, their defense is better than Miami's defense. We're putting it out there. I would give Miami easily the edge offensively over Kansas City. That Kansas City offense is just terrible. But I'm going to give the Chiefs defense, with it being cold and Miami being a speed team, that speed is very hard in the cold. Uh, granted, I've never played in that kind of cold before, but I can tell you when you're cold, your body doesn't move as great as it normally does. Um, Kansas City players are used to it. Miami's used to the warm, the warm weather, right? So this one favors Kansas City. I got them at three and a half. It is, you know, that that line between you know two and a half and three and a half where they got to win more by a field goal. It is risky, but I already have a point. Based off of DraftKings, right? I got it at three and a half. It's at four and a half. Uh, so that's the first one. Uh, the second one is Detroit. Now, I lost value on this one. I had Detroit at minus three and a half at, uh, I think, plus 100, actually, is what I have it on against LA. This one, Detroit's defense got healthy. They got uh, two different guys back, one on the def uh, defensive line and a safety uh, to kind of help out that defense. It has already been for the run game playing very well passing game not so much right obviously this is a 51 and a half total for a reason um yeah Detroit plays just very well at home I understand it's going to be a big showdown between Matt Stafford against his former team and Jared Goff against his former team and if I have to give an edge to a player, like I, I fully get and fully support and don't disagree with anybody saying that Matt Stafford in his revenge is no. It's Jared Goff was the, the same situation, but he was traded away for Stafford and they got the Super Bowl. Jared Goff didn't get the Super Bowl. Jared Goff's got a lot more to prove to LA than than Stafford does to Detroit, right? Stafford gave it his all to Detroit. He, he did everything he could. And Stafford's going to play and show, hey, like, this is what you could have been if you gave me the right support. I get it. I'm just going to take Detroit at home. It's, I believe defensively their defense is better. I, I think getting healthier is going to help their defense, right? They play the run game good. The Rams, one of the most efficient passing game teams. But Kyron Williams also is a huge workhorse. And Detroit plays running backs good. That will help out Detroit's secondary somewhat. I, I still don't think you're going to be able to really stop the Rams pass game with Tyler Higbee uh, being just another option there to support, you know, Puka and Cooper Cup. It, it's going to be a big one, right? Laporta, I would imagine Laporta is not in, which is a huge blow to Detroit's offense, but they have such a good run offense. 
better offensive line than the Rams have a defensive line. I understand Aaron Donald's there. But I'm taking three and a half Detroit. Like I said, you guys can get a minus three, get better odds than I did of taking Detroit here. Uh, and then the last one on my birthday, I'm I'm so excited I get a birthday game to watch, uh, is Philly and Tampa Bay. And this one I got at 44 and a half, so got half a point so far. I would imagine this continues to drop as more news breaks um, as far as who's practicing, who's going to be in, where their status is and all that. Uh, I would imagine it gets probably down to 42 would be my guesstimate. Um and that's going off of, you look, they played once this season, right? Hit the under by far as far as going off of this 44. It was, I think, 11 to 24, 25, something like that. But it was early on in the season. And that's when Philly's defense was really good, right? And Tampa's defense wasn't as exposed. Both defenses, especially in the past game, have been so lackluster. And it's very odd because they have very good names. Like, if you hear those names, you think of some good corners, good safeties, and that's not the case. They, they're they just not playing that way. Now, we've also seen Philly lose the last, I think, five out of six games. Philly's lost. And they've been giving up a lot of points defensively to go with that. The issue and the, the point that I'm attacking on this game, and I'm, it seems like every time I feel really good about an under, it always goes over. So, you know, if you want to go that way and, and take the over, and go against me, hey, I don't blame you. I have a bad history with unders. But I'm going to take the under based off of both quarterbacks being banged up, right? Jalen Hurts, broken middle finger. You got a broken finger on, on either hand. That's going to be a factor. It does not matter uh, what factor it is. You're either going to catch the ball or grip the ball with that hand. And uh, especially the middle finger, you can't really get around it as much. So that's a huge blow to, to Jalen Hurts and what he's capable of doing. Uh, hasn't been used in the run game as much. Uh, wide receivers, both Devontae Smith and A.J. Brown, seeing the statuses of them, if they're both in, right, they're still not going to be 100%, and no one really is 100%, but they're still not going to be as uh, elite a as they can be, in my opinion, based, based off of their injuries, right? Uh, and to go with that on Tampa, their offense has struggled the last two weeks. Granted, they were both division opponents, but Baker Mayfield, you could tell, is banged up. They're going to try to rely on their defense to win and the run game. They're not going to try to make uh, Baker be uncomfortable with his whatever injury he's going through. You could clearly see he's going through a lot of pain. Um, saw it multiple times. Still was able to be mobile, but I think 44, uh, 44 and a half for that matter it is just too high in this game. Uh, granted, like I said, both these secondaries are bad, and we've seen both of these offenses at one point. Philly's offense, right? They still scored. Uh, 30 plus and I think the last two out of three games besides uh, the Giants last week um, their their offense is capable of scoring they've just been kind of held down and with how bad their defense is it's been very tough we already know Tampa plays the run good Philly relies around their run game and when Jalen Hurts is forced to throw the ball you're not going to get the best out of Jalen Hurts uh, I, especially in clutch situations, he's not it. So I'm going to go with the under, right? I'm going to go with Baker being banged up, Jalen Hurts being banged up. Uh, this is going to be a gritty game and just hit the under. So um, we'll probably have action on every game. That's that's one of my, my downsides. But as far as giving you guys some bets to target uh, this weekend, that's what I'm going with. So hope you guys did enjoy, and I will see you in the next one.